Disquieted, and we're going to see what the next seven days looks like behind the scenes. The first shot we're going to do right now is going to be like this. So, first night, first location. We're shooting at this awesome high rise in Buckhead. Let's do this. Let's bring this one that has smaller lights. Okay, if we can make it true. Jeez, that's a lot of gear. It's supposed to be the slate operator. <gasps> do you want to? Really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We have our whole 20 person cast and crew in here. It's packed. How many people can you fit in a one bedroom? It's now 1.12 a.m. Delirium is setting in. <laughs> Told you. We are using sandbags in an apple box for this trailer. Awesome. You know you're on set when... Yep. I think that's good. So we've got, uh, we've got the camera mounted. And uh, we're setting up a shot here with the production and the direction team. Jamie, what are you doing? Focus puller. Okay, Focus. Josh, what's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> so right now we are trying to figure out the phantom move on the jib. All right, Paul Bunyan. And at I feel like I'm in a sandals commercial. Sunset stuff looked awesome. We had to switch locations really quickly, so I'm building an improvised back alley. I'm pulling what I can to, to make it as believable looking behind a bar as I can and show them all the time. It, it wouldn't pass OSHA code, but it should do for camera. Testing rain in three, two, one. All right, here we are. We're getting ready to shoot the rain scene where the wife gets rescued by her husband after she's been dropped off. So we've got a rainmaker that we built. We've got a few generators, a bunch of 1Ks. It's 45 degrees, not exactly what you want at the end of May when you're shooting a nighttime outdoor set. And then when we do roll, we need to understand where we're going next. She's going to be freezing cold. So we're shooting until the sun comes up today and tomorrow. When we start, when we hit roll, we know exactly what's happening. We are doing a film festival with a quick turnaround. So naturally, we decided that we'd want to shoot on a Phantom and a Red Epic. Seems only natural. Hi, we're setting up the party scene. It's really late and we're about to start rolling. Three minutes from rolling. Here shooting the bar scene tonight, and it's pretty weird seeing my boss's wife as a bartender. <laughs> so Adam, why can't we go to bed? Because Jesus' son's coming up. Like it really is about to come up. So we are at our studio. Randy, one of the bad guys in the film, did a lot of work on making the walls look nasty with oil and tea and a bunch of random things. Hopefully this thing doesn't die and hopefully I can shave with Dawn dish soap because that's all I've got. <laughs> well, I guess Randall's going to be tat cast as the creepy man from now on instead of the father figure or the politician. So we've been trying to figure out how to, using the Phantom camera, film the wood shard busting as the door breaks down. We've cut this door in three places, broken in three places, filled it with dust, and respackled and finished over it. So hopefully, there's one shot at this, is when, uh, when the actor goes through it, we're gonna see all this debris. And right now we're filming pretty much the climactic scene. Perhaps, maybe, the hero comes in and saves the day. Who knows?